like a Christmas present. So I it's only my birthday in a couple of weeks, so I probably should unpack this. You think it's really good to hold on to presents, but then when you realize you don't use them if you don't open them. So it's not good to just have it sit there. Um, it's good to open them and use them because otherwise you won't and, and that wastes your present really. So one of the first things I like to collect is the ribbons because I just reuse it on other people's presents. So I think it's really good to collect these sorts of things. I know I said it's good to open presents when you get them, but I did buy myself like this collectible Barbie doll I haven't opened. And in those cases, if it's a collectible, you might want to keep it in mint condition, but um, I'm not taking it out until I've sort of settled somewhere. So then I might take it out and play with it because it wasn't completely new when I bought it. It was like a new condition used doll. Later I learned, however, that you can get the same kind of doll, completely new, for $40, free shipping, online. And I was like, don't. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I thought this, like, $100 doll was a bargain, and then I realized, oh, um, you, can, you can buy them online on another website for $40, free shipping. <laughs> So if I ever buy any more of these collectible dolls, which I only buy for specific purposes, my name, I generally don't really collect Barbies, except for the Mermaid Barbie. I, when I was a kid, I used to love collecting those. Um, and I usually sometimes collect male Barbie dolls because there are limited editions. <laughs> but in general, I don't really collect Barbies. Um, I only collected this specific Barbie because I thought it was um, relevant to my interests. So. I actually get kind of jealous of like cellophane wrapped items because sometimes I, I want to make little gift handmade gift boxes to sell online and when I wrap them up everyone complains that it's not wrapped properly and so I get jealous when organ like places have cellophane wrapped items because I virtually have had to close most businesses I've ever tried to develop down because no one likes the way I wrap my items in cellophane <laughs> even though I technically copied off like a, a charity agency so who also makes handmade gift hampers you know but it's not a bad idea I mean I might pick that up someday so mm, this is a sweet jasmine candle very nice. You can tell the real stuff from the fake stuff. It has a more authentic smell. Um, so I'll probably just keep that there for the time being. And this is your diffuser. So I think it, once again it's jasmine. So I'll just find a way of how to open up and then stick these couple of sticks in there. And that should sweeten up my room. I have a room spray at the moment but I don't have to necessarily use it if I got this. So I'll just stick all of them in there, I guess. Maybe that will soak up the smell a lot quicker. Then I can go back to my room spray. So it is a bit of a shame to waste all this attractive stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a thing in here. It says thank you. It says thank you. Candle care. It says, trim your wick each week. Burn for no more than four hours. Burn on a level surface. Burn on, under supervision. Keep out of direct sunlight. Well, that's a good tip. Otherwise, I would have put it on my windowsill. And then it says, company. Hemp. Perco candles Springfield Hampico at gmail.com Facebook the Hampico So it's created by Hampico candles and fragrance. So there you go. In case you're interested, that's where I got those from. So I'll just put my candle there for now. I don't have any specific place to put it. 
And my infuser is over by the wall in the back of this set of drawers. So it's, it smells like candy, this jasmine scent. It's like a sweet candy scent, which is nice. I love, I, I used, when I was a kid, I used to love rose, jasmine, and what's the other one? Uh, rose, jasmine, and some sort of other essence anyways, um, Je Jehovah, Jehovah as well. They used to be my three favorite things. This is why people buy me sweet things all the time because I'm a big sweet smelling kind of person, but I do like the other smells too, like lemon and orange and coconut and all these other smells. But when I was a teenager, I used to like just grab everything that was sweet smelling and that's why people buy me sweet things <laughs> I still like the smell of course but you know sometimes I'm like oh I feel like a little bit of lime and, and mint and and fennel say smells so <laughs> I tripped and spilled things everywhere I'm getting real quiet, so I'm so unco. It's like totally sheltered, non movement has given me totally uncoordination. Pause.